All right, guys. I finally putting my hands in here. And uh, there's new to them. They got so much room to fly around in. Look at that. They're still a little freaked out. Still landing on the floor, testing out the floor and whatnot. But yeah, guys, you know, the birds are in. And I gotta put my cock birds in the other side. But I gotta cut out the holes eventually and let the birds go out into the aviary but you know i figure i might as well move them over so this is it guys you know they got quite a bit of room in here much better than being in the kit boxes oh i hate putting my breeders in kit boxes um now they got room to stretch out their wings the feathers will look a whole lot better um, you know, they were crowded up in the kit boxes and you know the cockbirds here are the cockbirds You know, they're all crowded up in here So I can't wait to get them out of there. I mean, it's been great it works birds are good a nice fat healthy, but It really restricts their the flying um, And my kit boxes, you know, I moved out all the side perches here I'm only gonna go off to the side um kind of moved away from the v purchase because the v purchase you know in the winter time if you can't get to it you're gonna get mounds of poop that builds up when it's like negative 20 degrees out you know so i kind of moved on to these uh standalone purchase and although they kind of get each other um if your birds have healthy dust this is just roll off them um so kind of moved out towards that direction Gonna need to clean out the trays. But yeah, you know, time to move away from this setup here. This will mainly be for my kit birds and my flying birds now. So I'm excited to move them out of here. Um, you know, I rushed to build these kit boxes here, okay? These were rushed um, because I needed to put my birds um, in kit boxes. I didn't want them in cages. So. You know, I'm going through the birds. There's gonna be a few. There's gonna be a few breeders that I'm gonna put back up in the air. Um, this location seems to be okay with flying, so I'm gonna put a few of my breeders back up. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to cut back on birds. Um, not too much, but a few. But majority of these are these are my havoc crew birds and my masons you see like they're so packed up and they've been living like this for a minute and like i said i feel horrible um i want to give them more space more room but you know with kids and you know with moving and you know like my garage still looks so packed up but at least now i have empty kit boxes for my uh upcoming birds i will get this all cleared out and whatnot so that you know um it's ready for kit birds but basically you know moving on to 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 this you know giving them more space more area to fly more perches to land on um more room to just move around and yeah i'm, I'm actually gonna add more perches as i go on i still got room to fit another like few more purchases i'm not sure how many purchases i could fit in there but basically this is not for breeding purposes this is just for my stock birds so you know all my stock birds are going to have room to basically fly stretch out their wings and whatnot so i'm looking forward to it um you know i built this setup back in my dad's place and here's the cock birds going to be over here they haven't i haven't even finished anything over here yet but the cockbirds will be on this side um and you know i was able to fit i think like 42 birds and they were nice and healthy and you know feather quality was great because they had enough room to fly around in and you know especially since i once i opened up the avery too um they have like an eight by four 
by two feet Avery out in the back in the front I should say and they should be able to come out to it and here's the Avery right there they should be able to come out to that and they got the whole stretch the eight foot stretch to relax out in the sun bathe and get sun and whatnot so I'm, I'm really excited to move them into this um I feel horrible putting my breeders in kit boxes. That was never my intention. But, you know, when you're moving, you know, either either you shove them in cages and you move or you sell them all and start over. You know, I was hoping I didn't have to do any of that. So I try to keep all my birds. It's a lot of work, guys. You got to be passionate about it to do it. But, you know, I got all my birds in here now. And once I get that... Avery set up out there too, then I'll have room to look at that. Oh, stretch out the wings. You know, that's what I want. You know, um, you know, in the kit boxes, they can't stretch out their wings out here. They can stretch it out a little bit better. And I'm excited for it. You know, once I'm done, I'll probably even let them out in this area here. But um, I haven't done anything on my breeder side. But once I am done with it, I'll put some breeders over here as well. And we should be good. But yeah, trying to just give them, you know, space. Space is basically what I need. Um, but yeah, there's definitely going to be some birds in here that I'm probably going to put for a quick one, two round. And I'm going to put it back up in the air. Um, my two yellows right there. That yellow right there, it's going to go back up in the air. That's a girl. Her sister's over there. And both of them were really good in the role. Their mom right there, the red bar. That's my foundation red bar hen. And, you know, there's a few birds in here that I might, I'm debating about putting back up in the air just because, you know, I'm not gonna have time to read all of them. And I'm really split right now. Guys, it's hard, it's hard because there's some of them that I lost their parents and these birds were all selected from the sky so it's like I know what they can do already but since I did put them away um, you know I'm hoping that they're still young enough that they can bounce back and even if they don't bounce fully back as long as I get something out of them I think I'm happy with that but yeah you know it's good to have all the birds have space to fly and stretch out their wings but yeah you know a little something different um but yeah i'll hurry up and try to get the cockbird side set up too and hopefully by today i will move all the cockbirds and the hens and it should open up four four kit boxes um these two are on babies too so you know um Dua had a pair of babies from them and i think they were I can't remember. Oh, I think they're both blue checks. Yeah, the two blue checks. Well, you got a set of blue checks. The next round were both recessives. So I have no idea. I'm gonna have to compare notes with you later on. But I hate breeding individual cage. They're probably gonna be taken out here pretty soon. But you know, this is this is the pair I got from them. Um, and yes, they're 100% because individual. I think Doyle had two blue checks out of them. The first round was both blue checks. Now these two are both recessive red. So I'm kind of curious how it'll turn out. I really am. But yeah, guys, just kind of want to show you guys a little bit. But hopefully, um, soon here, I have four kit boxes open in a little bit here so we shall see we shall see all right guys time to get to work effortless roller we out